No, it's not an April Fool's joke. You can get four horror movies delivered to your door every single month. Blasphemy, somebody says. No, not blasphemy. Every single month, Horror Pack delivers to your door a selection of four DVDs or Blu-rays in the horror genre. If you check off any of those qualifications, I like horror films, I like DVDs, or I like Blu-rays, perhaps Horror Pack is the pack for you. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up, muchachos, and like I said, inside will be four randomly selected, even though everybody who subscribes to the Horror Pack will get the exact same four titles. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I have absolutely no idea because I like to keep my surprise genuine. I know there's other people that have unbagged these for uh, the previous months and, of course, for April, but... I'd like to keep the surprise still genuine. So I don't know what's inside here, but rest assured, if you do subscribe or if you have subscribed to the April bag, you would have got the same things that I would have gotten in DVD or Blu-ray. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get this opened up. I know somebody's like, stop yammering and just open. Okay, we're going to stop yammering and we're going to go ahead and open this up. Open, open, open. And we're going to cut open the top. I'm going to pull out at random. Well, that's not true. I'm going to pull out from the top, work my way down. We're going to discuss, talk a little bit about it, and have some fun. I hope the last one, of course, will be included in that. I hope you guys have fun. I have fun opening these up. First thing we have is Cabin Fever Patient Zero, The Birth of Fear. I have watched the original Cabin Fever. I still have a tough time when that girl's shaving her legs. Oh, ooh, ooh. But this is Cabin Fever Patient Zero. I don't know if this is a... Is this a prequel? I guess I could flip it around and find out. A group of friends plan the perfect vacation in the Caribbean, but when, ahead, when they head ashore to explore a remote island, their ultimate bachelor weekend dissolves into the worst nightmare. After an ill-fated swim in contaminated water, they stumble upon a seemingly abandoned research facility, you know that's never going to end well, where a deadly flesh-eating virus... Here we go has been unleashed. I would say hilarity did not ensue. The only people left alive are the handful of secretive medical personnel and patient zero, played by Sean Astin, the lone person who has been exposed to the disease and shows no symptoms. Can they find a way to survive and escape or will the virus consume them all in a bloodbath of chaos and carnage? What are we looking at here? What are we looking at, Jeeves? We're looking at 95 minutes uh, uh, release date of 2014, and I see no real considerable features other than subtitles, which is, you know, it's there. That's it. That's all you're getting. Like I said, I have seen the first one. Have you seen Cabin Fever? In fact, actually, have you seen any of these films that I'm about to unleash? Not like a flesh eating virus, but unleash from this pack. Let me know down below if you've watched them and what you think of them. I was like hearing feedback from you guys. Next we have is Rotten Tail, the Horror Pack limited edition Blu-ray. Hippity hoppity homicide. Well played. I guess being that this is the Easter season as well, the Easter month, why not celebrate something with, uh, well, a rabbit themed or Easter themed uh, horror film. Uh, what do we got on the back here? Easter will never be the same again. It never, it never usually is. Whenever the holiday is fast approaching and they release a horror film, that specific holiday, the one in question, is never the same again. I want to actually be able to say that to somebody. You're never going to be the same again. Why? What, what, what's going on? What's going on? Until you've tried my grilled cheese sandwich. It's unbelievable. Self-proclaimed. Uh, Rotten Tail tells the bizarre tale of young Peter Cotton who grew up in the town of Easter Falls and loves rabbits. Peter's science project on rabbit breeding is is ruined when the school bullies beat up his rabbits. Oh, come on. Did we have to beat up the rabbit? Years later, the kind but still shy Dr. Cotton works steadily and gently with his rabbits to cure human infertility. Unbeknownst, I love that word, unbeknownst to Peter, the military is the is this the military is this work developing fierce soldiers with strength far exceeding a human of their size. 
and with Peter's fertility serum, the ability to breed in the field. Uh, hold on a second. So we are creating fierce soldiers with strength far exceeding the human, uh, a human of their size. But then with the serum, the ability to breed in the field, is that... I... 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 Yeah, I don't know. We just gonna have like an army of super strong babies? <laughs> I don't know. I guess somebody would easily just say, watch the film, you'll know. And maybe even after watching the film, I still won't know. Peter discovers the true nature of the experiment and the attempts to stop it. But an, ac an accident of poetic justice, a bite from an experimental mutant rabbit combines with Peter's own serum to transform him into Rotten Tail. Okay. Okay. Special features include audio commentary with writer and producer. Read the graphic novel the film is based upon. Pastor Jake's Mulligan's mini uh, ministries, commercials, behind the scenes photos, comic book artwork, and teaser trailers. This was released in 2019 with a runtime, ladies and gentlemen of the mob, 106 minutes. 106 minutes. Inside as well, we've got Don't Knock Twice, starring Katie Sackoff and Lucy Boynton. Well, I don't know who Lacey Boynton is. Lucy Boynton, so I didn't even say it right. But I know Katie Sackoff is from Battlestar Galactica. She's also been on other things as well. It says, pray she doesn't answer. Okay. On the back, knock once to wake her from her bed, twice to raise her from the dead. The, when troubled teen Chloe, played by Lucy Boynton of Sing Street, so that's probably why I don't know her, defies a local legend's warning and knocks the door of a long-abandoned house. She unleashes a terror beyond her darkest nightmares. The vengeance of a relentless child-stealing witch. All right, now we're asking for trouble. With nowhere, nowhere else to turn, Chloe heads for the country home of her estranged mother, Jess, played by Katie Sackhoff of Battlestar Galactica, a recovering addict who is desperate to reconnect with her daughter. Now mother and daughter must once again learn to trust each other if they have a hope of surviving the relentless force-shadowing Chloe. A well-crafted thriller, says Bloody Disgusting, that's rooted in real world but dipping its toes into a brother's grim fairy tale, says... Di Diabolik <laughs> Magazine Don't Knock Twice is the wellspring of your next nightmare. Diabolik Diabolik Diabolik? Well, it's not quite diabolic. It's di Diabolik Unless that is how you spell it. No, that's not how you spell Diabolik. I don't know. I'm spending a lot of time just focusing my efforts here when I really should just be look, look, looking at here. You're looking, my friends, at two, uh, 2017 for release dates. 93 minutes for your runtime. Diabolic? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Somebody's like, you're really spending a lot of... It's driving me bananas. And last but certainly not least, hey, look who we got here. It's Christian Slater, Way of the Wicked, which would also be, in some ways, a way to describe Christian Slater's life. Ooh. Uh, this also stars Vinnie Jones, Emily Tennant, Jake Croker, and of course Christian Slater. Way of the Wicked, Evil Never Dies. Although his career mate, his career might. An unholy secret, an un inhuman evil. Christian Slater, who is also in Stranded and True Romance, stars with Vinnie Jones from X Men. Why would they use X Men The Last Stand as his first uh, referenced movie? I would have put Snatch long before I would put X-Men The Last Stand. Yes, he was the juggernaut. In this heart-stopping supernatural thriller after a series of inexplicable murders sweeps a small, isolated community, Father Henry, played by Slater, so ironic that he is a man of the cloth, goes to a local police detective. He has had a seated, uh, seated troubled history. It's just in case you're wondering why I was joking about that. You shouldn't joke about troubled histories. I'm just I'm just using it as a reference point to, oh, yeah. Producer saying just drop it. Okay, we're gonna go with the producer and we're gonna drop it. Goes to a local police detective played by Jones with a theory on why the murders are occurring. 
The two learn that a troubled teen with a dark past has secretly, has recently, excuse me, moved to town and has set his sights on Cop's beautiful young daughter. Father Henry, who turns out to have secrets of his own, of course he does, it's Christian Slater, finds himself pitted against a demonic force more diabolically evil and twisted than any of them could have possibly imagined. Take that, Vinnie Jones. 92 minutes is your runtime. I'm looking around, I'm looking around. 2013 is your release date. Probably likely released to DVD or Blu-ray. Let's have a look at the titles we got inside. Thank goodness we did get ourselves an Easter-themed DVD. I would feel slightly robbed. No robbage here, my friends, make enough words. We did get ourselves an Easter uh, good, good Tidings film called Rotten Tail. Gonna have to give that a go before the end of April. Way of the Wicked, we got, we got Don't Knock Twice. That seems like an interesting cover. Kind of looks like House. Remember the old House poster? Knock, knock, you're dead. Anybody? Hello, is this mic on? Also got Rotten Tail. And we got Cabin Fever, Patient Zero. A whole lot of flesh-eating stuff going on there. Ooh, don't like the fact that the girl was shaving her legs. I don't know why that still to this day bothers me like bananas. Not that bananas drive me crazy, just bananas. That's what it is. That's what it is. Let me know down below, my friends, The Mob, if you've seen any of these movies. What do you think of them? Let me know what you have seen and what you think of the films. Like, provide a review down below. And if you also would like to jump on board, get on the train, hold on to dear life as we travel through Horror Pack, you can get yourself the subscription to Horror Pack for next month. If you want to subscribe right now, you'll be on the sites to the next village. The next village is Maytown, because we're right now in April, right? Maytown. I'm here all day. Is this mic on? Producer's saying the mic's not even on. Okay. Either way, today we were having a look at the horror pack for April to 2019. If you guys haven't yet had a chance, don't be like Rotten Tail. Rotten Tail doesn't subscribe to anybody, and that's why people don't like him. Make sure you're not like Rotten Tail, and uh, also don't multiply in the field. I, I, I still, I, I still don't know what how that helps anybody. Just a whole bunch of mutant, super strong babies. Not even like babies yet either. They're just like, they're just they're well, they're newborns. So like a super strong army of newborns. How's that helping anybody? I'm getting off topic. Either way, if you guys haven't had a chance yet to do so. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. More videos will be coming your way. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.